Since 1912, Seventh-day Adventist Church members have supported a special mission offering called the 13th Sabbath Offering. Although it's only part of the offerings that support mission work worldwide, your support of this offering has helped touch countless lives through schools, clinics, churches, literature, and other mission projects. The Villa Shaw Church in Portugal opens wide doors for evangelism and leads the hungry and needy to Jesus. Every Sabbath, the church meets for worship and many outreach activities. The Villa Shaw Church is located in the outskirts of Lisbon. Immigrants make up the majority of residents in several communities outside Lisbon. The people of Portugal reflect a diverse mixture of cultures. In recent decades, immigrants from Africa, Brazil, and Asia have given the country an even more multicultural character. When immigrants arrive here, they realize it is hard to find work and support their families, but they are open to hearing the gospel of Christ. Ten-year-old Brito is a young member of Villa Shaw. He helps with the church service on Sabbaths. Today, Brito and his friends are really excited. Once a month, the Pathfinders will go out in the streets to give people pamphlets and books, such as Steps to Christ. Some of the Pathfinders are shy about talking to people, but they are glad to be a part of this work and to get a chance to offer people good Christian literature. Sometimes they see people walking on the street, and they all race to see who will be the first one to give them a book. The children have a lot of fun sharing God's love with others. The Villa Shaw Church has lots of young people, but even those who aren't Pathfinders go out to distribute literature. The Church prays that the books will be like seeds that will sprout in the homes in which they have been planted. This Church family takes the commission of Christ very seriously. They insist the Church building stay open every single weekend. They want to be together in singing and praying to learn from God how to best reach their neighbors. The members of Villa Shaw want to be Christ's hands and feet to connect and invite people to Jesus through literature distribution, serving of healthy food to the hungry, and visitation to the sick. This growing church now prays for a larger, more efficient community center and church. They have rented here for more than 20 years. Their ministry to the community is expanding, and they need space to organize more effectively. Please pray for the Villa Shaw Church members as they struggle to find a permanent home in their immigrant community. Kalinka Filipova lives in southwestern Bulgaria. She is a gypsy. Her town, Lagiogra, has a large population of Romani people. Several years ago, Kalinka met a woman on her way home. They started talking about God's existence. The two strangers connected instantly and started exploring the Bible together. As they studied, they made a pact to follow Jesus' command and make disciples. They prayed together and opened their garage for Romani people to learn the way to salvation. Initially, we were five or six people, and then the group grew to 106 people. The garage could not hold us inside, so we would put blankets and carpet outside so the people could sit. As the numbers increased, some of the new believers were baptized and have become proactive leaders. So the Seventh-day Adventist Church rented and renovated a first-floor apartment in the Romani community that would serve as a sanctuary for worship and church activities. The Romani congregation continued to grow, and now that number would crowd any house church. But the visitors far outnumber the members, and seats are at a premium for every service. The greatest challenge for the church is that there are many people we can reach. It has plans and methods to do it, but our greatest concern is that our guests have no place to sit when they come because our sanctuary is too small. Today, some 160 members and friends come seeking God's blessing and offering their worship on Sabbaths and nearly every day throughout the week. 
Today, every possible wall has been removed to make room for worshipers. Chairs stand in tight rows with barely room for feet between them. When the sanctuary fills, more chairs are added to the narrow hallway. And when weather permits, the children meet outside so more adults can hear the sermon by closed circuit TV in the children's room. Still, some must stand outside, catching snippets of the worship service through an open door or window. Many of the children don't come to church simply because there's no room for them. We would like to have a separate children's room because adults interrupt our activities. At times, they come and find their room full of adults, so they must return home. The adults don't like the situation either, for they realize that children are important to God's family. The Romani congregation is eager to share its faith with fellow Romani. They want to find a larger place to worship, but because they don't earn much as seamstresses, street sweepers, and construction workers, and because many have no jobs at all due to the sagging economy, they struggle to pay the rent on the building they now occupy. When visitors come, members stay away so the guests can have a seat. There's no turning people away. The Romani can't get enough of God's Word. Whenever there's a meeting, people come. What an opportunity to evangelize. Thank you for helping advance God's work in a fruitful region of His vineyard. The Czech Republic is one of the most secular and postmodern countries in Europe. Many young people in Czech Republic and Slovakia leave the Christian faith during their university years. In many instances, Christian education in the home proves insufficient against strong atheistic influence. Young Christians struggle searching for a place to belong and people who share their beliefs. With this enormous challenge in mind, the Seventh-day Adventist Church developed a strategic initiative called Inri Road. Inri Road, or Jesus Way, provides Adventist young people the opportunity to maintain their religious roots and spiritual guidelines while reaching out to other young people. Many students at university level have rarely or never set foot inside a church. Inri Road is their place to learn about Jesus and have some fun. Students who attend have the opportunity to participate in a number of activities, such as game nights, sports, banquets, prayer meetings, Bible discussions, and special weekend outings. With such a variety of interesting events, students don't feel the need to go out for dancing, drinking, or drugs. This is their opportunity to truly enjoy life. When you attend one of the weekly events, prepare yourself for having a good time. The programs include lots of good music, interviews, expert presentations, and many interactive activities that provide a chance to interact and make new friends. Many students find that Inri Road has been a turning point in their lives. Some would never have stepped foot inside a traditional church, but Inri Road isn't traditional. It meets the needs of today's young people, many of whom never experienced Christ before. John is a student in the city of Brno. Although raised an Adventist, he did not meet Jesus until attending Inri Road on a regular basis. During his first visits, he did not care for the messages. He was struggling to answer some of life's big questions and did not think he could find the answer here. But with time, his heart was touched by God and he found answers. Now John is an active advocator and participant in Inri Road. John found Jesus to be the answer to a lot of his questions and wants to connect with other teenage students and help them. John has decided to become a minister and to lead others to Christ and to the practical answers he can provide. Please pray for the important work of Inri Road and for the many lives it touches each day. With your prayers and mission offerings, 
Inri Road will enter more university towns in Czech Republic and Slovakia. This quarter, your 13 Sabbath offerings will help build a community outreach center and church for immigrants near Lisbon, Portugal. It will support an evangelistic outreach to students at major state universities in Czech Republic and Slovakia. And your offerings will also fund the building of a church for the Romani people in Western Bulgaria, as well as rooms for children to worship and do activities. Please pray for these projects so thousands of people can taste for themselves the beauty, the love, the wonder of our Savior.